All right, guys, TSLA Tesla today update. What is going on? 1% so far, 0.8% down. And stock, you can see, is trading. Market is still open. Overall, market is positive. There are a lot of uh, names positive. But if you look at the heat map, you can see what's going on so far today. There are a few names in the S&P 500 and NASDAQ are negative. But Tesla turning negative as well because in the morning it was positive. It did chop. So coming back down to these um, support area of 135 and below 135, here's what I'm watching basically. At this point, yes, it's pretty, um, I don't want to say super overextended, but it is overextended and due for some sort of a bounce. But you can see the volume has been increasing pretty much every day. If you look at the volume, the more it comes down, the higher it's going. So, and there is a speculation that um, a lot of people are saying that maybe somebody is getting liquidated in Tesla. And um, once we see like a really big spike in volume and flushing down move, then we'll see maybe some sort of a, a decent uh, reversal uh, relief bounce or dead cat bounce however you want to call it um, but so far right here uh, I'm watching 135 as a support below 130 if we go back um, 2020 levels because that's where it was trade it did trade last time at these levels uh, let's go back to 2020 because it's been almost two years since Tesla hasn't been in this range in this um at this level of 136 137 so and that's where it was in this range so this range is 135 151 and then the lower side of it we can see 130 but that does not mean that this is a support i did look up the uh, volume profile if you are someone who's looking for some so sort of a decent volume profile support you can see it here um, on a daily that decent volume below these volume bars you can see right here below these levels basically if we don't hold these levels it would be for tesla to go to hundred dollars and again that's that's really really big that would be really really uh somebody would get wiped out wiped out in um like I'm talking about hedge fund or some private fund that is over leveraged into one big position. Maybe Tesla might be their biggest position. Uh, we know that ARK was holding as a big position Tesla and I don't know what's going on with that. But some sort of a fund will get liquidated and that's when you can see maybe Tesla at those levels because at this time and moment it's almost down um 60 percent 70 percent from its highs and wiped out already 500 plus billion dollars in a very short period of time and it's not a like the only stock is doing that right a lot of people looking at <coughs> amazon and where amazon has wiped out almost one trillion dollars from its market capitalization in the last year or so because very um recently like in the beginning of the year and um, last year around this time uh, amazon was 1.8 1.9 trillion dollar company and now look at it it's pretty much um uh, lost one trillion of that so that's why tsla i would not be surprised if we're gonna see that but right here right now i'm still watching 133 135 as a support but if that level doesn't hold well we're looking for that um flushy move and then very quick sort of like a v type shape of a recovery back to where it basically slips from so let's say if it does slip below 135 goes all the way to 120 maybe even 115 100 would be very extreme but if it drops like 10 15 points from here i'm going to be expecting uh exact same amount of reversal 
uh, to the upside so that's basically update and again uh, I'm just speculating do not um, try to like a place a bet to the downside or upside because implied volatility is pretty high for Tesla and you can lose basically money on both sides if it just parks here and does nothing and just chops around for the rest of the year which it can do so thanks for watching take care peace